We have breaking news on a fiery plane crash at the Loveland ski area. A third body was found in the wreckage, and just in the past 30 minutes, we've learned new information. 7 News reporter Lindsay Watts at the crash site all day, and Lindsay, you've just confirmed where the plane came from and where it was heading. That's right, Mike, we've been getting some new details from the NTSB. Right now, their investigators are at the crash site, which is about a third of a mile from where we are here at the base. It's in the trees beyond that ski lift. We've learned that this was a Piper aircraft that took off this morning from the Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport. That's in Jefferson County. And the final destination was Moab, Utah. Now, even with that information, investigators say the fire after this crash has made it extremely difficult to identify the plane and its passengers. The aircraft was totally destroyed in the crash and the subsequent fire. For much of the day, investigators said there were two people who died in the wreckage. Then late this afternoon, a third body discovered. We weren't able to uh, uh, determine that there were actually three people in the crash until crews were able to uh, uh, extinguish the fire, cool down the area. The flames burned for hours near patches of snow after a witness spotted the single engine plane just before 9 a.m. It appeared not to have enough altitude to cross the Continental Divide. The pilot tried to turn back and then lost power. And at that time, the, uh, the uh, witness, who happens to be a private pilot, said that he heard that the uh, uh, motor on the aircraft stalled. And of course, then uh, uh, shortly thereafter, the aircraft crashed. The Clear Creek Sheriff's Office says Loveland employees were the first to try to help. They were soon joined by crews in the air and on the ground who reached the site about 30 minutes after the crash. It's uh, for me, it's it's an honor to be able to work with, uh, with with those kind of people. The coroner's office and NTSB arrived later to take over the investigation. The sheriff's office tells me the victims won't be identified until tomorrow at the very earliest. The NTSB says the wreckage of the plane is going to stay here at the ski area until at least Thursday as this investigation continues. Reporting live, Lindsay Watt, 7 News.